Have you ever waited for hours for a simulation to complete, wondering if your simulation program is using your high-performance multi-core CPU to its fullest potential? Analog designers really need simulation times in minutes, not in hours for simulation to be useful. Linear technology has made that simulation possible by providing a free, powerful, and very fast version of a popular analog program we call LT Spice 4. Welcome, my name is Gabino Alonso, and this video will provide you an overview of the advantages of using LT Spice in an analog design. I'll take you through a quick example and uh, also give you an opportunity to uh, go ahead and go to our website and download the product and try it out for yourself. There are many benefits in using LT Spice 4. The most important one is the fast simulation times. This is particularly true when you're trying to simulate a switch and mode power supply. There's also other advantages of using LT Spice is that it's a very stable platform. It has a very uh, extensive schematic symbol editor, easy to use waveform viewer for analyzing your data, provides an extensive library of passive devices, and we also have over 1,500 macro models for linear technology products. And it's not limited in any way like many other free to download uh, Spice simulators. When you invoke LT Spice 4, you'll get the startup window as shown. From this one, you can easily create a new schematic and start simulating very quickly. To create a new schematic, just come over here on the far left side of the toolbar, click New Schematic, come over here, add a component. In this case, we've done our research, and let's say we're in an application, so we can easily type in that part number. We have two options. We can just open up the macro model as is, or we can open up this test fixture. The nice thing about the test fixture is it provides you a schematic that's already laid out ready to go. Next we can then just go ahead and click on run then we'll have the waveform viewer displayed above the schematic. Next we can go ahead and start probing our circuit. So if you notice I take my crosshairs bring it over to the out, output uh, label here it changes to a voltage probe. Click on it and there's the display of the voltage as the simulation is running. Likewise I can come over here and click on the inductor element. When I put the cr crosshairs over that element, it changes to a current probe. I can now click on that and now display that current through that inductor. And this is not interesting to note that in the switching mode power supply, we have this very slow analog control loop that's in this case doing a stop start ramp up, but we also have this high frequency switching that's occurring. And a lot of simulators have a hard time simulating this. Once we have some data displayed in the waveform viewer, we can now zoom into an area of interest. Let's take a look at the top right corner. As you can see, here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the output voltage ripple along with the inductor current ripple. Let's say we're only interested in maybe taking a further calculation on the output voltage ripple. And if we take one of our waveforms here and we do a quick draw box without releasing the mouse key, uh, we can do a peak-to-peak -peak measurement and we can see that on the lower left hand side we see we have about a 2.1, 2.2 peak to peak voltage ripple. Also in time measurement you notice on the on the lower left hand side we also have the amount of time that duration of the box is but also the corresponding frequency so we're basically operating about 1 megahertz. The LT Spice makes it very easy for you to do some calculations and to get some basic data from your uh, schematic. As you can see, it's easier to obtain a detailed simulation within a few mouse clicks without knowing a lot of the specification of the device, LT Spice, or the Schematic Capture program. Now we've been using our pre-drafted test fixtures, which provide a good starting point, but you're going to have to obtain the data sheet and start modifying the schematic to meet your needs to do a complete simulation of your particular application. Now to download LT Spice, you need to go to our website www.linear.com forward slash ltspice. On this page, you can download LT Spice freely. You'll have an option to either sign up for a Linear Insider monthly email or not. Likewise, you can download the LT Spice User's Guide, which provides a lot more detailed information on how to use LT Spice and the Spice directives in general. You can also download the LT Spice Getting Started Guide, which will probably be your next step to get familiar with the LT Spice and how to use the integrated development environment. Lastly, we also have these LT Spice demo circuit collection, and these are demonstration circuits that are provided by the factory applications teams that provide a little bit more comprehensive examples for customers to use in their particular applications. I hope this video has provided you with some insights into the capabilities and simulation speeds of LT Spice that take minutes rather than hours, and I wish you the best in your simulations.